And welcome back to the channel. This is Danica Blue 43 here. Oh boy, I haven't said those words in a long time, but we are finally, yes, finally back with another diecast review for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the most recent mater variation that we had to add to our collection of maters. This one's from Carstory. We have Mater with Lightning Bolt Hat. This mater is in a Target exclusive 11 pack. Either, I think it's 11 pack. I thought it was 10 pack at first. I think it's an 11 pack though. It is a Target exclusive gift pack. He is the first look in that pack. It has most recently been released at Target. Many people across the United States. Not sure about international countries, but I'm pretty sure almost every single country across the United States, plenty of them have been able to find the Piston Cup Race, that is the name of the pack, the Piston Cup Race 11 pack at the local Target. That includes the first look at Made with Lightning Bolt Hat. Now, I know this isn't the most exciting gift pack since the first look is not even a new car. It's just a character variation of a character. And not to mention that it's Mater, one of the main characters in the whole entire Cars franchise. And also the fact that they put other first looks from 2017 Cars 3 gift packs in that pack as well. And re-released them like Jimmy Cables, Dirk San Diego Stino, and JD McPillar, as well as Todd Marcus. All of those cars were originally released in Target exclusive 4 packs. I don't think any of them were Walmart exclusive. They were all Target exclusive 4 packs as first looks. And then they get re-released, not as first looks in this pack. And they got the Mayweather Lightning Bolt. So I feel a little bit bad for the people who purchased those just to get them re-released when you could have not bought them and then get them in this pack. So you're not just getting it for one car. I'm in that category of people, unfortunately. Mattel just likes to do that to us sometimes. I really don't like when they do that. That, but hey, you gotta get it from Mater, am I right? So I don't have the entire pack. I'm not gonna show the box or anything, not because I don't want to, I just don't have it. I got it loose for like 17 to 18 dollars on eBay. I did not feel like getting that pack, although on the bright side, just want to let everyone know that the Tim Treadless in that pack is actually metallic. So I guess that's another reason to get that pack. But I decided to just get it loose online. And plus, I already reviewed all the other cars in that pack anyway. So without further ado, let's get right into the diecast review of Mater with Lightning Bolt Hat. So as you guys can see, we have a very nice smile and expression. Although I gotta say, this is not the best expression. I feel like you should be more excited because obviously when Mater is at any of McQueen's races, he's always super hyped and a little overhyped, rooting for Team McQueen, his best buddy in the whole wide world. So I feel like you should have a more of like an excited expression. He has like more of like that calm, passionate, relaxed smile. If you know what I'm talking about. There is a reasoning behind this, though, as to why they chose this. It's because he actually is a different model. They actually use the Precision Series mold, not the set version, the single version. As you guys see, the expression, they're not actually exactly the same. They are, like, generally the same, but you can see a small difference. Like, for example, his eyelids on the bottom, you can see how, like, they raise up. They're not there on the precision, not on my bad, the lightning bolt meter. So the expression is ever so slightly different, but generally the same so you guys can see that they actually did use the precision series mold for this mater and i gotta say i really do like that now all we need is them to make the precision series mold for a regular mater like the kind of with 23 sally make her more accurate obviously though this mater doesn't have the special features that this mater has he doesn't have rubber tires he doesn't have working headlights he doesn't have a working tow hook those are just special features specifically for the Precision Series cars, so the tow hook is just a nice plastic. You can see the light up top right here. You can see more blued fade throughout his body, as well as obviously in the back of the day. He used to be a blue tow truck, but obviously his colors faded. He also has a little bit of green right here. Obviously, tow mater, towing and salvage, Raiders rings, all the normal stuff you're used to seeing on mater. And we also have the two brown wheels in the front and one white and one yellow in the back. So that's very, very nice. He has flat eyelids as well. He's not a Thailand car. This is from China, so the eyes don't look like a, a little weird. These are this. He is made from China. This isn't like one of those Thailand cars. And honestly, here's the thing that is the main reason why anyone would buy that pack for the Mater with the lightning ball hat, which is what makes this Mater different. So lightning ball hat looks very, very cool in my opinion. 
And it is plastic, just for anyone wondering. And it is a pretty hard plastic, too. And now, it is unremovable from meter. Like, you can try yanking it off. It will not come off. I do not re recommend trying to get it off of this meter. You will most certainly almost break this meter. You definitely do not want to do that to any of your Disney cards diecast. Especially one that is a first look and is so far only released in a Target exclusive 11 pack. But yeah, it looks very nice. As you guys see, it has the red, very like thin red outlining going around the shape of the lightning bolt. It's not on the opposite side, but as you guys see, it looks very nice. And I'm glad it didn't like overscale the lightning bolt because I'm some like I guess I was supposed that they would make it big, but they made it like around the accurate size. Now obviously. Made her appear with a bunch of hats in the movie, ranging from a Dynaco 51 hat at the end of the movie to even a Piston Cup racetrack accessory at one of the races at the beginning of the movie. I feel like out of all of them though, this one was the most significant one, the one that standed out most in the movie, and all the hats were kind of like Mater's gimmick, I guess, and now this is the first one that they released out of all the hats, so hopefully that means that we will possibly see a release of the Mater with the racetrack, uh, as a Mattel version, and other hats as well in the movie, but so far, out of all the hats that he was shown in Cards 3, this was the first one to get released so far. And now I'm not sure if this is going to pop up on camera or not, but his colors are actually a little bit brighter on the Precision Series version than on this version. You can kind of tell a little bit with the front. I just It looks a little bit more brighter. It's definitely a lot more noticeable in person. I just want to compare him to another Lightning McQueen fan to compare the Lightning Bolt accessory. Like, for example, Timothy 2 Show from Cars 1. You can see the Lightning Bolt. Not exactly the same, it's way different actually, but yeah, there's a lightning bolt, and the colors are actually inverted, where the red is the main color, and yellow is actually the little small trim, and his has 95 on it, Mater's lacks the 95 on the lightning bolt, but this is accurate to the movie, this is what the lightning bolt looked, at, so, looked like, so I'm not like I'm complaining about it or anything, but yeah, I just wanted to compare it to like another Lightning McQueen accessory on another Lightning McQueen fan. Here's a small clip from the movie on where Mater appeared with the lightning bolt hat. I don't really have anything else to say about this video. I do have a bunch of other diecast reviews coming in the future. I know it's been a while since a diecast review, so I'm glad I was able to finally review this one. After having it for a week, I purchased it like a week and a half ago. The first time I got around to making a video on it, because I am back at school, unfortunately. But, nonetheless, though, it's going to be it for this video. We're going to end it off with the two mayors right here. Obviously, like I said, he is based off of this mayor. Hopefully, in the future, Mattel will release a regular mayor with this Precision Series mold. I would most certainly like that a lot. Kind of like what they did with 2018 Sally, almost. But anyway, I hope all you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed it. Also, comment on the video if you enjoyed it as well. I certainly enjoyed making this video. Feels great to finally be making a video because I haven't recorded a video in like a week. Although, I gotta say, I felt kind of relaxing. But nonetheless, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your crazy support recently. And as always, see you guys all in the next time, next video. Peace out, and see you later.